down to the car park uh, and ready to go to David Rodriguez. Now this is the car park we were talking about yesterday. It was so full yesterday. So we had to park in the Mar what's it called? Martianas. Martianas. But this is just like you just want to show. It's she's literally right on the Good River Tadia as well, if you can really see. Good and it's free. It's so good. You can just park. Obviously they do have um people who try and coax you in to, to get car parking space and then they expect you to pay so just try and avoid those but yeah it's amazing it's free you can park all day so yeah no brainer really so yeah we're just going to walk down now and have some breakfast aren't we? Barakito time. Yeah thank you. breakfast. He's got his barakito. I think this is inside the uh, David Rodriguez get a drink at night all these croissants I love these ones, the Karima yeah these are amazing, we need to come and have one of these they're amazing it's like a big Ferrero Rocher that's what they have treated me I've been eyeing a bracelet up in here for like since we arrived. <laughs> and it's absolutely beautiful. So Tenerife Perla. Um, and they're just the east in there are absolutely gorgeous. So when we get back to the hotel I'll do a little unboxing and I'll show you what I got. This morning down at the harbour, we're all having a swim. Don't you need to do the thing like that. So we're just walking up for afternoon tea, but I just have to show you. The view at Tady, just look how clear it is today. Absolutely stunning. Starting our afternoon tea with a nice glass of this. Lovely views of the orchid garden. So peaceful. Look at this. For an afternoon tea. This. And lots of cream and jam. Yeah, it's all Liz. So there's a girl. Gorgeous. Just had the most gorgeous afternoon tea. And we're just going to have a little wander around the orchid gardens. There's the Drago tree. How impressive is that? 600 years old. Just so beautiful. Look at all the beautiful flowers. And then that's where we've just been. How cute is that little cafe? We've just been and had a lovely afternoon tea. We had one when we came in March, didn't we, Lee? Yeah. So we had to come back and try it again. Definitely recommend. I mean, it's what, four? Is it four euros fifty just to get in? Yeah, yeah. So even if you just want to come in and just look around the orchid gardens as well, but I'd definitely recommend the cafe. And the lovely lady who works there, so nice. All the gorgeous orchids. Just so peaceful. How cute is this little bench? Peaceful, isn't it? So peaceful. Just absolutely stunning. And it's an English guy. Is it an English guy who owns it, Lee? I believe so, yeah. I'll have to do my research. Yeah, do a bit more research, but we just wanted to show you how lovely the the gardens actually are here. Oh, what have we got in here? Oh love birds. Hi Cousley. Little love birds. Hello. Yeah. 
Look at this. It's absolutely boiling today too. Look at those blue skies. Really lovely. Yeah, they're so pretty. Lovely little water feature. The smells are amazing as well. You can really smell the flowers. It smells gorgeous. Sit and chill and listen to us running water. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, Dad's got lots of... Mum and Dad have got a lot of water features in their garden. It does sound like their garden. You could just stay in here for hours though, couldn't you? Yeah, Oh yeah, it could be. So is that another croquet lawn of two dragons? Yeah, it's that one. Oh wow, well, yeah, look at that. Oh, is it there? Oh, yeah. These are just the most beautiful. Flower. Now I'm going to pronounce it wrong and Lee's mum will kill me because she absolutely loves these flowers. Strelitzia, I think. I think I said that right. It's just so pretty that you get these all around Tenerife. Stunning. Well, they're all here as well, look. as well another little place just to sit all the detail into all of the pictures gorgeous are you just having a little rest The croquet game to oh yeah look can you even have a little game of croquet should we have a game <laughs> no i don't either <laughs> what a setting though come down and have a little game of croquet So beautiful. Just gonna feed the fishes. Ready? Oh. Live. Attack, attack, attack. Lunch time. <laughs> Gorgeous place just to sit, watch the world go by, feed the fish. These lily pads. Look 
how gorgeous. And some fishes here as well. I've not got any food fishes. Sorry. <laughs> Amazing wall art that's just been painted. Really nice colours. Let's drill it somewhere, Bird of Paradise. Lovely painting, so all the jewelry as well. Look at these earrings, someone's made all this. Amazing, isn't it? being summoned. <laughs> Help and love. It's what we all need in the world. There's a lady painting as we I do wear a few of these, uh, we call them lily pads from my pond at my allotment. Deborah, stick a few in your hand. Oh, back. yeah, I don't think they'll fit. <laughs> Nice little afternoon exploring the uh, orchid gardens. Yeah. Enjoyed it, Deborah. Yeah, it's been amazing. Yeah. Cafe there. I believe. Have they got an Instagram? No, I don't think they have. Facebook, haven't they? Yeah, they've got Facebook, yeah. yeah. Look at these colours. No. I definitely recommend it, even if you want to walk around. If you've got a rent a car, you could probably get parked here. We got parked just further up, didn't we, Deborah? Yeah. It's quite, it's not far from the centre of Puerto de la Cruz. So probably do you think, could you walk to it? Depends where you stay in. Well, yeah, true. It's not far from La Paz, so we could have probably walked down. Yeah. But we've brought these when we get up, so. Yeah, it wouldn't really be that far, would it? That restaurant there is supposed to be quite nice. Oh, it's open as well. Every time we've gone past this week, it's been closed. That's it, cool. Mac. Muxiato. <laughs> We're not very good at pronouncing. I do <laughs> try. <laughs> What's the plans now? I think it could be. I fancy there are. Oh, do you? I do. Well, that just means that I need a strawberry mojito then. <laughs> Water for you. You've had enough. Oh yeah. This is where we just left the tar. Just literally. Well, not even a couple of minutes after the walk. These views. And then the hotel. It's just here. So yeah, really easy to park because there's not parking included, I don't think, at the hotel. Or if there is, it's just this really tiny little. A little bit more. So, there's our hotel. And now we're hitting the road. This is the hotel lobby, reception area as we would call it. Look at the hills right down to Puerto. Such a good setting. And you can see all the up the coast up towards out towards Santa Cruz that way on. Santa Ursula. That's the main road into Puerto. 
do a Kung Fu tunnel in here on the front there. Such a good setting, isn't it, Deborah? Gorgeous. Beautiful. Let's get our swim there on and get better at So we're just heading out for some, we're going to go for some tapas tonight, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so we've never tried this place before, but it's actually owned by the same people who own the pizza place that we went to last night. It's the same chain, isn't it? Yeah. Um, there's a few. Yeah, there's a few. So it's right on the front, really lovely atmosphere. So yeah, we'll show you what we get. This is the uh, lookout point that we mentioned in the previous vlog. <laughs> We've captured it tonight. We're... Sun is just going down, I think, over there. Come down a bit. Yeah, we're going to tap in. We'll show you the view. So there's Puerto down there. With such sunset in the distance. Nice clear night, isn't it? Yeah. That's over there is where we walked up last night on the stairs. It goes right around to the hotel. So it's nice to have a little sit have a little break people watch and there over there is where the viewing point is with a little church in the distance there so a few people get married um the locals look at that for an house that used to be a paper shop me and my brother used to go and um get our spanish football stickers in Someone bought it and now turned it into a lovely villa. That's absolutely incredible. And now here's our little walk down to Puerto. So we're just walking down these stairs now, and these are actually the they're named after Agatha Christie. Um, so the Agatha, Agatha Christie stairs, because she visited Puerto in 1927 and wrote a book, and the people of Puerto. Um, dedicated these stairs to her here. You can see it just all goes up, look. You can see in the distance it's like a drawing. How amazing is that? Bench for the Tenerife colours. <laughs> so yeah, there's just different bits of culture everywhere you go. There's another one, look. I think it's all the way down here to be fair. Yeah, another one. So impressive as you can keep going down. You can see all of the different colours and all the different books. You can see there, Agatha Christie. She's done some books though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, done a lot of books. Oh, here you can see. Oh, Mom. Someone having a picture there? Yeah, we have And then there's the last one. Muy bien. Subimos por aquí o qué? Venga, va. I'd love to have an explore around some of these houses, villas, just to have a look. Sometimes you like wonder what's behind the door, don't we? Yeah. And I've not worn sensible shoes again. And these, <laughs> these stairs are the steep stairs now. At least with the railing. <laughs> we'll catch you soon, guys. And we're finally down the stairs. The shoes made it in one piece. Um, so we walked down here last night, but it was really dark, wasn't it? Well, not yeah. really dark, but... We couldn't, we couldn't really see much of the setting. We just got to show sure what it looks like before the sun completely goes down. So yeah, this is just a little walk now down to the the seafront, isn't it? The beachfront. Yeah. So yeah, it's not, like I say, it doesn't take long at all. Nice road with the palm trees there, uh, just down to the beach. Yeah, even the path. How lovely is the path here? A bit like mosaic. Yeah, this just brings you right down to the 
Hungry now, yeah. Yeah, tap past time. Ready for some tapping. Just caught a little bit of sun shining over there, the tip of the, uh, the mountain range there. Meditating, maybe? Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, meditating. Winding down. <laughs> what a better view. Sea, sunset, and the beach. Great little spot for everyone watching the surfers, watching the world go by. There's Deva taking a picture. Mainly always order way too much when we get tapas, don't we? See if we can manage it. Yeah. Time. And this is a traditionally Canarian dessert. And the guy was just saying somebody came all the way from the south to try one of these the other day because it was meant to be amazing. So let's try it fondly. Have a bite. that good morning guys so we're just ending last night's vlog this morning again we always forget to finish it off and um, but yeah we had a really lovely night night last night at the tapas bar and we went down to um the little bar we were at the other day do you know near the seafront where we had the mocktails and then cocktails yeah you were craving a mojito yeah. i was craving a mojito i would not had a mojito yesterday so i needed my six um so today we're just about to head down to breakfast now there's this really beautiful little, um, it's a bit like David Rodriguez isn't it, but it's like a chocolate um, cafe and they actually make all the chocolate and the cocoa from the cocoa in the cafe so we'll do a little video there and show you around there, they do lovely coffees and pastries and then we are off to a hidden gem in Puerto and um, so we won't give too much away yet but we'll show you and see what you think and you can decide for yourselves when we get there, bye guys! Bye.